teams that need goalies. And you know the number of goalies are out there. There's more teams that need goalies than, than actual goalies that are available. So we elected to use a draft pick to try and secure this one. Um, you know, uh, so that's the purpose of making the trade. And uh, uh, we certainly like the season that Billy had. We got two guys that we can put in the net every night and give us a reason to get points to win. How much of their appeal is they're, they're kind of similar in age and you get, I mean, both combined are a reasonable cap hit yeah, in today's yeah. world. Yeah, well, and it doesn't, it doesn't prevent us, uh, you know, signing this contract to, at some point extending Ned's contract at all. Um, we're in a position to do that. We just found out we got two guys that, that we feel can play in the league and based on, albeit, uh, Somewhat of a short uh, or limited action in the NHL. Both guys that have shown that they can win games. Are you pleased with everything you accomplished? I mean, beyond the draft, you added, you fleshed out the coaching staff, you got a goalie, and then it's been Chipping a busy couple days. Things, um, without elaborating, there was one or two more things I was hoping to accomplish, which we weren't able to do, but overall, you know, you just, we're all excited. We just finished the draft, and hopefully some of these kids turn into players. You know what? I'll let Drake talk more about them, but he's a left winger. Uh, I think a pretty good all around player. The little bit that I, I've seen him, excellent athlete. Um, he plays hard. So I'll let Drake elaborate more. I, wa I watch him really on video, and, and you know, I sit with the scouts and uh, talk to them about the player. So that's what I know a left winger that has a bit of a scoring touch around the net and goes up and down the wing and plays hard. It's the hard part now, just the patience. Like, you know, waiting for these guys to develop to... Uh, well, that's the way it is. I don't know, like, uh, you know what, uh, you know, we're starting to see, you know, we'll see uh, some of the kids from the 19 draft come to North America that were from Europe or playing Grand Rapids. We're slowly seeing them go through the system and trickle up to our team in Detroit. It just takes a while, as we've always said, they're 17 and 18, though. Go back to junior, they'll go to college, they'll go to the American League, they'll go back to the European Pro Leagues, and hopefully each year one or two of them can progress to the NHL. Draft the center, I mean, was that just all in all thrilling, thrilling a need there? Um, not, well, obviously, we were hoping to, you know, we need some help at center, at least in the prospect pool. As we got into the later rounds, just kind of the players that we had in the later rounds were centers. I think we ended up drafting five centers. Um, uh, and I, I'm guessing some of these kids have played wing too. So um, it wasn't all that important. It's just kind of the way the the list that worked out for us. Steve, do you expect to be active next week? Pardon me? Do you expect to be active next week at the UFAs? Well, we've got some roster spots to fill. Um, so we'll try. You know, I, you know, it, it's, it's tough. But, um, there's a, you know, a lot of competition for players, so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. we got some areas we'd like to address and see if we can. We will. It's just a question of who and how long and how much. How, how do you balance bringing in veterans versus allowing the kids to kind of like fill those holes within your organization? Uh, it's a little bit tricky. Um, you know, truthfully, last year we thought uh, Moritz would play in the NHL. We really weren't sure on what impact he would have. Lucas, we thought we we're you know that he would start in the American League. Would he be there the entire season or not? He didn't spend a day in the American League. So um, I, I would try to uh, at some point we need to make room for them, whether it's uh, you know one year, two years, or three years down the road. But um, if we think in free agency, if we can find a player like a, a player that fills it a hole and the contract makes sense, whether it's a one-year deal or a long-term deal. We'll do it, but um, I found like some guys are you know, automatic. They're going to play in the NHL the next year, whether it's Connor McDavid or Sidney Crosby or Austin Matthews. I don't really like to guess, um, and I think generally kids that have done really well in the American League that have stood out in the American League give a good indication they might be ready. Uh, guys that have been really good in pro leagues or elite college players have a chance to play, but I'd like them to push somebody out as opposed to throw them in there and and if they're not ready then 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 what do you do your, your team is weaker and and you're kind of setting them back so i'd prefer them to, to push somebody out
when you talk about the things that you hope to get done that you didn't today, are those things, is the, is the book closed on that? No, 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 we'll just keep keep working at things, yeah. Obviously, for anything in this draft, the book is closed, but that's okay. So you, you, don't, you don't necessarily think you're done between now and free agents? Uh, I don't foresee us making any trades or anything, I don't think. Uh, uh, things can change, but we'll start to prepare. We got our development camp starting tomorrow night, and and we'll play, prepare for the third season. When when you trade for a goaltender, is that different? Like that position, as opposed to if you're trading for a skater, like you, is there somebody on your staff you lean on more? Especially, I mean, who so hasn't played a ton of games yet in the NHL? Like, is, is it more of a challenge to kind of figure out, okay, is this the right guy for us? And, um, there's so much responsibility on the goaltender, I guess. Like, uh, it's a hard position to play. There's a lot of pressure on them, um, regardless of who they are. Um, I, I, we, we feel comfortable that he's an NHL goaltender. We feel comfortable that that he'll make us a better team. And and we had the cap space, and the contract isn't not seven years or anything like that. It's it's a very reasonable. Uh, term for us, and um, we think he'll play well. Um, you know, I guess it's a, you know, the mark, there's not a lot of goalies out there, and we felt like we better get. We need some. We need. We need depth at that position, and uh, we thought it was a worthwhile. I didn't want to call it a gamble, but a, uh, a worthwhile decision to make, and and we expect them to, to play well for us. Does, does the compactness of the schedule really emphasize the importance of having two guys who can both? play maybe at least 40 games because I mean it's just yeah. every other day almost yeah for the most part there's a, there's a handful of goalies that play roughly 60 games maybe 62 not that many um, and you look at some parts of the schedule we go every second day and you know um, I just think you, you need to you know, ideally have a great starter and a great backup we think we have two young guys that that can go in there and play, how the, the games get divided up. I'm not really sure performance will dictate that a little bit, but they're both going to play. And, um, you know, the league has kind of shown, like, you, you, you need your backup to go in and win games or you need a goalie to go in and win games for you, um, whether you're playing back-to-backs back -back or four and six nights on the road. So it's an important position, obviously. One last one for me. When, when, when Bob Boudner became available, uh, were you just like, Let, let's get this, this guy kind of like... No, well, you know what? I um, kind of had some names before we uh, had, had hired Derek, and Derek and I quickly sat down. He identified um, people that he wanted to talk to and, and positions he wanted to fill immediately. Uh, you know, Bob and his role was one of those. Um, so really, it was, you know, uh, Derek's uh, decision and with 100% of my support behind it.